Welcome back to Big Movie Mouth Off. Now we're actually going to review Star Wars The Force Awakens. I mean, we were just talking off camera that you can talk about this movie for ever, ever. almost. <laughs> you know? uh, and so, but let's talk about it. Um, I absolutely loved it in the sense, because first of all, let's talk, you know, just look and feel of it. J.J. Abrams matched the tone of the original Star Wars, that raw grittiness, and especially just, I mean, John Williams' score. I he, mean, he jump in, because I know you want to say had a, He definitely <laughs> had a lot of touchstones to all the movies as well. There mm-hmm. were moments... Uh, referring to the clone army mm-hmm. or uh, the way certain characters might say scream traitor the same way <laughs> Anakin might scream liar. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of those touchstones to all six movies. They yeah. really did their homework and they brought that to bear. But uh, I have to say, I actually have a couple of complaints about the movie too. What? I know. Right? Say it on camera right now. Okay. <laughs> um, I think my biggest one is that J.J. Abrams is not as an accomplished editor mm. as George Lucas. Okay. Um, when you look at the big multi-sequence, uh, the multi-part sequences where, say, in Return of the Jedi, you have the battle for Endor, the lightsaber duel for Luke's, yeah. Luke and Vader's soul, and you have the space battle, they flow together seamlessly. Hmm. They follow each other logically, and you understand exactly what's happening. Yeah. Um, with this film, the climax at the end, it uh, the timing isn't as, as well placed. Hmm. It doesn't carry you from one sequence to the next. And uh, another thing is that George Lucas is very good about making you clearly understand what happened. And there's moments you were asking me about, like, yeah. hey, did so-and-so lose a limb here? Did yeah, that yeah. happen? Did this happen? Because J.J. Uh, Abrams has a different editing style. Yeah. And it, it lets a little bit, a few of those details get lost where George Lucas wouldn't have. Uh, what I do love, uh, John Boyega is fantastic. Yes. Uh, he is hilarious. He brings the humor to the film. Uh, Ray, oh God! I mean, she is. I love it. She's not the damsel in distress. Uh, on on uh, uh, Oscar Isaac as well. I mean, oh. he, to me, he's like our like our new Han. Like he's got that smart, like smart Alec wit to him. But what ties it all together is Harrison Ford. Truly. In my opinion. <laughs> um, Harrison Ford, th- there's times where you can see him acting where he seems like he's on autopilot. Yeah. And not this time. He's really invested. There yeah. are scenes of this movie uh, where he interacts with other characters that are truly astounding. He really is the heart and soul of this film. Yeah. And uh, don't let anyone tell you any more than that as far as, as, <laughs> yeah. far as the character. As far as the screenplay goes, yeah. I want to I point out Lawrence Kasdan, yeah. uh, who wrote Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and yep. Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I think you can tell <laughs> watching this movie that he wrote Raiders of the Lost Ark. It is, talking, are you talking about the monsters that roll towards them? Well, the Rathtars, <laughs> sure, but I'm talking also just the way the film is paced. Sure. There's an action sequence every 10 minutes. Yeah. It's funny. And there's uh, a scene between Han, uh, who's uh, Indiana Jones, Jones yeah. also, yes. and and General Leia, <laughs> yeah. who it, it's very much like the scene with uh, Marion and yeah. Indy I can in see that. Raiders yeah, yeah. of the Lost Ark. It was, you know, and speaking, because you mentioned General Leia, Carrie Fisher was great in it. Yeah. I, I, I was, <laughs> everybody was like all nervous, and then like, she, like when she showed him, like, yeah, that's older Leia, you know, that's fine, you know, she looks good, go for it, you know? Yeah. yeah. And so she, and, and I love, she's got these great moments with Ray and stuff like that, you know, like, but I love it, this movie's so full, again, of secrets that like, there's just a lot we can't say, but it's... Or wouldn't want to. I don't want, no, because when you and I saw it, we were like one of the first people in the country to see it. Yeah. And we go into that theater with a big geek smile and knowing, not and not knowing, don't look into it, don't look for spoilers. Be careful on the internet. I'll say that right now because people are out there just ruining it for people. Like my wife, for example, had it ruined for her. And she's like, I would have had so much more emotion in certain scenes, and you know what I'm talking about. But she's like, it was ruined. And so I knew yeah. it was coming, and she's like, oh, okay. You know, and I was just like, oh, and by the way, uh, also Heart and Soul of the film, Chewy. Yeah, no, this is, I think, Chewie's best movie. It really is. I think Chewie has the best moments in this movie than he's had in any of the other uh, four yeah. movies he appeared in. And the, and the chess p- uh, set does show up, and I yeah. love how excited he gets. Like, yeah. He's like, ooh, does someone want to play a game of chess? Uh, I've, I'm four stars. I absolutely loved it. I have really no complaints about it. So four stars for me. So uh, the first time I saw it, I actually was like three and a half. Oh, wow. And uh, I watched it the second time, and I said, well, maybe three and three quarters. <laughs> and then now after my fifth time, I think I'm invested. I think it's a solid four stars. There you go. Go see it. It's a great time to, to be a geek and be a Star Wars lover. Uh, four stars for me. He built his way up to four stars for him. Go see The Force Awakens as soon as you can. Also, I want you to do, see it because I want Avatar off the top of the top, top yeah. box office and list. it's breaking records. It's going to do it, I think. So uh, thank you for uh, watching the show. Now coming up after the break, it's me sitting down with the cast and crew of Point Break. Enjoy it, and we'll see you next week.